this look, we're going to take some good old scotch tape. And we're going to take Soft Peach from Anastasia. The palette I'm using um, was a limited edition, but you can buy any of her shadows singly. So, yeah, I'm taking Soft Peach first. And blending that pretty high above my crease, just as my transition shade. So next I'm going to take Fudge and on an angled brush I'm going to draw a line just a tiny bit above my crease. That way you can actually see it if my eyes are open. And it can be sloppy because we're just going to blend it out. And then I just kind of flick it out on the end. I keep getting out of frame like throughout this whole video, but I try to explain everything I'm doing so hopefully it ends up okay. So I'm taking Morocco from the palette and a pencil brush and just blending out that line we just drew. A small brush like this is key to a cut crease look because it really helps you blend without getting too much color all over your lid. Then I take a little more soft peach right here and just kind of blend everything together. So next I'm going back in with Morocco and Fudge and just deepening it up even more. This is one of those looks that you have to like repeat steps over and over again until it's right. And then as you can see I got out of frame but I did the exact same thing with the black from the palette as I did with the Fudge color. Just drew a line through my crease and then went in with a pencil brush to blend it out because I wanted it to be even more intense. And then again, more soft peach just to help blend everything out. And then again, I will have to go back in with a pencil brush to deepen it up and make that line more intense since we kind of blend it away. I added pink champagne to my brow bone as a highlight. And then I'm taking the NYX white eyeshadow base and just cutting my crease. I just used a small concealer brush to kind of carve it out and just patted it in with my finger and then I took the color Chick from the palette. I seriously don't know how to explain this color at all. It's like a taupey, silver, shimmery but not too shimmery color. I don't know how to explain the color but it's super pretty especially on top of this white base and I just packed it on and then blended it out. So I actually wanted to move back onto my face before I move back to my eyes. And I'm taking the Becca Backlight Filming Primer and putting that on my face first so I have a nice glow. So next I'm going in with the It Cosmetics CC Cream Surprise Surprise. Today I'm using a beauty blender with it and I really like how it looks with the beauty blender just as much as I like it with a brush. And I'm using the shade Tan. Oh, excuse me. Next I'm going in with the Makeup Forever HD Concealer. I actually have been loving this concealer. It's really thick and the tiniest dot goes a long way as you can see. But I only like it if it's blended out with a beauty blender because it is so thick. Can you see Cora in the background? Look at her little blonde hair. But yeah, I actually really liked how it looked with the beauty blender and I've been using it a lot lately. So next I used that same damp beauty blender and used my translucent powder from Laura Mercier and just used that to kind of bake slash set the under eye area and the middle of my face just anywhere that I could get a little bit oily. And then I'll take a big powder brush with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in medium and I will Dust that all over my face and also use it to clean off any of the excess powder that I have on my face from the baking, even though I don't really bake for very long. Next, I took that Marc Jacobs Filter 40 palette and the contour shade in it. It is like the perfect contour shade. Perfect. And I just use that anywhere that I want to 
make myself look like I have cheekbones on the jawline to make my jawline look more intense to help get rid of that double chin just a little bit, you know. And then I took the uh, Da Vinci bronzer and number two, I think it's a healthy glow powder. And I just wanted a little more sheen to my cheeks, if that makes any sense, because that other contour is like super matte. So I just wanted to add a little bit of life to my face. I also added some MAC Peaches Blush. I don't know where that clip went. Um, anyway, now I'm taking Opal from Becca. Super intense, beautiful, like champagne colored highlight. And applying that on my cheekbones, temples, nose, and Cupid's bow, like always. To finish the face, I'm going to set with the MAC Fix Plus. This will set all the powders on your face, make it look like you're not even wearing any powder, and just make your makeup last so much longer. So back to the eyes, I put some mascara on the top lashes. And I'm going to take Chic and apply it in my inner corners, and also kind of a little bit on my lower lash line, just like in the inner part of my lower lash line. Next, I am mixing fudge in Morocco and just applying it on the outer half of my lower lash line just to kind of match the top lid. I didn't show it, but I also applied a nude eyeliner to my waterline, the same one I use in all my videos, just to make my eyes pop even more. This is the kind of look that will make your eyes look huge, even if they're small, I feel like. Next, I took these lashes from Eyler. They look just like Iconics, but are so much more lightweight and not nearly as dramatic. And then for lips, I went in with the uh, Too Faced Perfect Spice Lip Liner, I believe. And then this is the ColourPop Trap Liquid Lipstick. I don't know why that was just so hard to say. And I thought it looked a little too gray for this look. Like, I love this lip color, but I just didn't really like it with the eye look. So I went over it with Cream Sheen Lipstick from MAC just to make it a little more of a nude. And then that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.